Hey guys, as promised, we're going to talk about Untamed Wolf Adele and V. Uh, we're going to talk about her base form, her brave shift form, her sample rotation and sample builds, as well as my fi final thoughts at the end. So make sure to finish watching the video. Let's go. This video is sponsored by Amazon Coins. Get 10,000 Amazon Coins for $80 instead of 100 that's a savings of 20%. You can use the Amazon coins to buy lapis for FFBE. I place the link in the description below. Check it out after you watch the video. If you enjoy content like this, consider subscribing. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Azure. I upload FFBE and gaming content every day on this channel. If that's something you're interested in, then consider subscribing. You can also leave a like rating on the video as well and check me out at various social media. Links in the description. So her base form strength, um, Untamed Wolf Adele gains a boost in her 7 star skills modifier thanks to a new passive upon her Envy Awakening. She can also fill the Esper gauge by 5 at the start of battle or after being revived. Lastly, she can, as she gets 150 LB damage passive, unfortunately she doesn't gain any new abilities upon her Envy Awakening. She can equip a, a lots of um, weapon types I'm not gonna mention them all and she can equip hats helms clothes light armor heavy armor and accessories so uh, the passive is called together with the nightbringer wolf autocast at the start of a battle or after being revived um, fill asper gauge by five and then pack with Fenrir uh, increase attack 500 static attack increase modifier 10 to fe and increase modifier 20 to Flame, Wolf Fist, Right Skill, Tianba Roar, and Wind Wolf. Lastly, Nightbringer's Wolf. Nightbringer Wolf's Fighting Spirit increases LB damage by 150%. So what are her base form weaknesses? Actually, it's really weak. Um, she doesn't do any significant damage in base form. Um, even with the increase in modifiers for her 7 star skills, uh, it doesn't really help much. Her LB doesn't get any modifier boost as well, so despite the addition of 150 LB damage passive. So that passive is um, shared between her two forms, so it'll be useful in her bridge shift form. Next, sample build. So I'm not, I'm not gonna uh, bother making a sample build for her, but general guideline would be to build her base form for LB fill uh, rate. So if you have any LB fill rate uh, equipment lying around equip it on her since her brave shift form will benefit from it i'm not gonna uh i'm not gonna get ahead of myself but her brave shift form wants to fire off lbs as often as possible so we're gonna talk about her brave shift um strength uh, available from turn one duration is three turns and she'll be forced back to base form cooldown to normal is three turns cooldown to brave shift is two turns after being uh, forced to brave shift, uh, base form, you can uh, brave shift again after two turns. So, an untamed wolf Adele turns into a wind based evoke damage healer after her brave shift. So, from physical chainer to um, wind based evoke damage healer, similar to Infer Infernal Fire Rain, she gets an evoke damage ability and LB as well. She can buff her own mag by 250 and imperil the enemy to wind at the same time. So here is her evoke ability, Shining Art, Wind Magic Bullet, level 5, uh, Wind Evoke Damage 70, and then 100% ratio of 100% uh, for the mag and 0% for the spirit to one enemy, Bolting Strike Chains. And um, her utility skill is called the Wind Wolf's Howl, increase wind resistance 120% for 3 turns to one enemy, also increases mag. 250% for 3 turns to cast her. Next, um, her LB does massive wind evoke damage. She has 150 LB damage passive. Um, that's her, I uh, mentioned that in her base form, right? And then 100% LB damage buff, which is active. Her LB is called Shining Art Wind Wolf Bullet. At max level, uh, it does 27 hits. Um, Protector's Bayonet um, Chaining Family. That's actually triple bolting strike, so it chains with triple bolting strike. And it costs 38 LB crits. So wind evoke damage 55 uh, 
also 100% on mag to one enemy. And then uh, her passive is the LB damage 150 and also she can buff her own LB damage using Fenrir, Fenrir's limit. Two uses per battle, unique selection and multicast, increase LB gauge 38 to cast her so she can automatically fill her LB using this um, uh, ability. Also increases LB damage 100 for 3 turns to cast her, can't be dispelled. Alright, so we're going to talk about her passive. She already has 150 magic to dual wield off the bat as well as innate dual wielding and the 200% increase in chain modifier cap. She gains a bunch of static mag passives as well. So she's already looking better than Infernal Fire Rain in terms of mag passives because since Infernal Fire Rain didn't have any mag passives in his kit, um, her evil mag is at 140 while her evoke damage is at 30 so we should um, concentrate on raising her evoke damage. Uh, Alright so going down the list she has 70% HP, 190 mag, 60% um, MP and she gets a thousand static mag but the half of it is tied to her trust passive so make sure you either have his or uh, her TMR or SMR equip. Uh, also increase Esper's bonus stat 100%, uh, increase LB damage 150, increase invoke damage 30. She also has guts but it's a trust passive. Increase Dark Resistance 50%, completely immune to Charm and Petrify. She can dual wield weapons innately and she has a 200% uh, true dual wield mastery. She increases LB gauge 2 per turn, recovers MP 7% per turn. She can also have a special of area effect when she is evoking Fenrir, a 25% physical evasion rate for all. So that means for the party and also for the enemy. And she can evoke any Esper equipped in the party. Alright, so what are her weaknesses in Brave Shift form? Her LB is a multi-hit ability instead of a finisher attack like Envy Terrace. So you might have trouble fitting all the hits into a chain uh, since it hits for uh, 27 hits. However, it can be chained with triple bolting strike chains. So if you, she's uh, actually not a finisher, she's an evoke uh, damage chainer. Um, her LB fill ability has a limit of 2 per battle, so she needs some kind of ex external fill support if the battle lasts longer than um, expected. So she can only fill her LB gauge twice. And after that, you need to rely on natural LB gauge fill. Uh, that's why we need to equip her um, base form for LB fill with LB fill gear. gear. So you can facilitate... Um, Filling her LB gauge, or you can just use an external unit. Uh, more on that later. Um, her BS form only lasts three turns. When she then she will have to spend a few turns in base form. However, his, her base form is basically useless in terms of damage. So those turns will be dead turns for her. So she's really useful for her burst, um, but um, her base form doesn't really contribute damage wise. So. Um, think about that and the best weapon for her that has evoked damage is Envy Terra Sword so we're gonna talk about her builds later um, many would argue why would you use um, Untamed Wolf Adele Envy if she needs Terra Sword to function properly so why not just bring Envy Terra instead so maybe the enemy is weak, weak to wind maybe the enemy is immune to fire uh, is really highly situational so um, I don't have an answer to that uh, question. Um, her base stats are kind of low even at EX3 but that's expected since she's a free unit in global. Um, in JP she's um, a tower a tower reward uh, unit. So there's a there's a event there's a content in JP where you can climb a tower you can equip any equipment on your unit so you need to rely on their, their kits, their abilities, their magic, and also on the espers they're equipped with. So she's a um, she's, uh, prize there, but in global, she's being given given out for free. So make sure to log in at least once, once on March. 
um, her mag can only be door potted by 20. So instead of the usual uh, 32 for magic damage dealers. Alright, next is a sample rotation for her BS form. First turn, we will unlock her triple cast in base form. So we're not going to shift turn 1. We're going to unlock her triple cast in turn 1 using Omen of the Alpha Wolf. And we're going to apply a self re-raise and barrier. Because why not? We can we have a spare action. And then turn 2, proceed to buff LB damage using Fenrir's Limit and mag wind wolf's howl and then fill her lb gauge and then use the last uh, remaining action to deal some damage wind magic bullet then turn turn three file fire off her lb with if this is these are the stats 150 pad 150 lb damage passive 100 percent Active LB damage buff, 140 evil mag, and 30 evil damage. That will do 600 uh, modifier. So if if you increase um, her stats, she will do more damage. And then turn four, uh, either you go LB damage again if you have an ex external LB um, fill support for her, or you can just use wind magic bullet level five times three. It'll do 655. So it'll do more than her LB if she is not equipped with any LB um, equipment or any evoke damage equipment or any, any evil mag equipment. I'm sorry, any LB damage equipment. So if it's just 150, um, her chaining skill will do more than her LB. So make sure to um, equip some LB damage gear on her. And then turn five, she will be forced back to base form. So you just cast back for more, so that's the Ray Race and Barrier. Turn 6, um, free turn, you can either guard or do some support uh, abilities. And then turn 7, repeat turn 2 to 4. So that's it. However, you can only use her um, LB fill um, or 38 um, two times per battle, so you should uh, be wary of that. So here is a sample build. So she's easier to gear compared to Infernal Fire Rain. Infernal Fire Rain didn't have any mag passives and he was really hard to gear. Uh, we only need one slot, slot to cap um, MTW. So that will be the wings that transcend time. You can use um, Ravenheart if you want. Um, she can even equip heavy armor which means she can don Golbuz's armor for the massive flat mag. Um, but she cannot equip robes, so that's the downside. Um, we'll try to add more evoke damage since that is her lowest stat at 30. So add some LB damage also and Evo Mag, and she's good to go. She does want Envy Terrace SEMR because that's a main source of um, evoke damage and her vision card. So there's a question of whether to just bring Envy Terra instead of Videl. Uh, I, I touched on that before. So sample build, Terra Sword Plus, and then Black Rosalia, a rod with um, LB damage passive, Radius he Headband, Globus's Armor, Heliolite for uh, Flat Mag, Crystal for the Mag, Fenrir's Synergy to proc her Trust passive, which is the um, static uh, 500 mag and also the Guts, Regenerator of the Final Summoning, from NV Unileska, uh, from, sorry, SEMR of Unileska. Wings that transcend time is from Gilgamesh, SEMR, and Judy to protect the world from Luna Freya, that's her SEMR. Vision card is Search for the Esper from NV Terra. All right, so what are my final thoughts on the unit? By the way, she can equip those um, equipment. Uh, the only difference with her base form is her base form can equip rods. So here are my final thoughts on uh, UW Edel and V. It, she's a nice addition to our growing list of evoke damage dealers. She is the best evoke damage dealers dealer among all the NVAs thanks to her am amazing passives. So Infernal Fire Rain lack mag passives and he is pretty hard to gear. Draconian Princess Fina lacked the 200% increase in chain cap modifier. Uh, UW 
Edel and V has both of them, so um, she's on top of those um, and V Ace. But um, Fire Infernal Fire Rain does fire da evoke damage, and Draconian Princess Fina does uh, light damage. But they're pretty. Uh, they're kind of missing some um, passives in their kit. All right, she does need to borrow NV Terra's sword, but she can still function without it. We can just focus on upping LB damage instead of instead of instead if we are missing Terra's sword. So if you don't don't have NV Terra, if you don't have any other evoke damage healer, and uh, you only have Edel, you can still make use of her even though you don't have Terra's sword. So the there's a she can equip a lot of weapon types. So you can just find um, a mag weapon with LB damage on it. Alright, so gearing her won't be uh, an issue weapon-wise. So she cannot equip robes, I mentioned that before, which gives the most mag, but she can equip Globus' armor with its high flat mag. So consider um, getting that SEMR from Globus. Alright, so her LB damage buff lasts for 3 turns. So if you can bring an external LB gauge filler like NV Eurasia, um, she can fire off her LB two times consecutively. Uh, compared to NV Terra, she can only um, fire her LB once and then she turns back into her base form. Um, Edel uh, lasts for three turns and she, her damage LB damage buff also lasts for three turns. So uh, you can fire off it two LBs before she gets forced into base form. So overall, she's a great unit, especially considering she's free. We get, we, we, were, we will get her if we just log in once on March, and then we can grab a copy of her. Uh, she will get the same treatment as Charlotte and Fizzlish, I think. So we can um, get her shards and awaken her to NV and subsequently to EX3, hopefully. Um, if we do the quests to get her um, fragments. So hopefully th uh, this help you guys uh, look into the kit of UW Edel. Uh, we're gonna get her where she's not gonna be hard to get though. Uh, we need to work hard though to bring her to e EX3. But naturally, I ju you you're just gonna get her um, to EX EX3 naturally if you just play the game. So um, make sure you don't miss out on UW Edel. She's a um, free evoke damage healer. If you can gear her properly, she can do a lot of damage. Uh, and um, even though you don't have, if you don't have Terra Sword, she can still do a lot of damage uh, with an LB mag weapon. So, all right. So thanks guys for watching. Let me know if you have, if I missed anything. Let me know if you have any comments or suggestions. And as usual guys, thanks for the support. Make sure to like the video, subscribe, and click on the notification bell to get notified when I upload new videos to the channel. So I'm gonna, the next video will be um, the news uh, video on Tuesday, as well as the review for the banner for next week. So make sure to sub and so you won't miss out on that. Again guys, thanks for the support and bye bye.